Hi friends, today we're reading This Little Artist by Joan Holub and Daniel Rudy. Michelangelo. This little artist had Italy impressed. An architect, painter, and poet. He liked making sculptures best. Michelangelo is famous for painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel and for his David and Pieta sculptures. Mary Cassant. This little artist chose to portray moms and their kids at home and at play. Mary Cassatt painted tender, loving moments in the everyday lives of women and children, which was an unusual subject in the late 1800s. This little artist Vincent van Gogh painted pictures of his face, a starry, starry night, and sunflowers in a vase. Vincent van Gogh applied thick paint with wild brush strokes to show his feelings. Pablo Picasso. This little artist made blue art for a while, switched to rosy colors, then painted cubist style. Pablo Picasso and George Baruch began the cubism art movement, showing objects broken into angled shapes. Georgia O'Keeffe. This little artist painted very large flowers animal skulls, and skyscraping towers. Georgia O'Keeffe sat in her car or camped in a tent to keep away from bugs and the hot sun while painting nature in New Mexico. Alexander Calder. This little artist built a toy circus from springs, cranks, balloons, buttons, and other small things. Alexander Calder made hanging metal and wire sculptures that are called mobiles, or kinetic art because they can move. Salvador Dali. This little artist liked attention and fun. His melting clocks and wild mustache startled everyone. Salvador Dali was a surrealist. Objects in his art often looked strange or melted. Frida Kahlo. This little artist painted her life story with symbols of Mexico to celebrate its glory. Frida Kahlo was often ill in bed where she would paint with a special easel. She made 55 pictures of herself called self-portraits. This little artist used objects like soup cans to make pop art paintings that delighted his fans. This is Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol began as a shy advertising artist. He became a superstar with many famous friends. Jean-Michel Basquiat. This little artist was a great poet too. He mixed words with doodles as he painted and drew. Jean-Michel Basquiat used items from pop culture, street life, and his Haitian and Puerto Rican heritage in his artwork. Crayons, paper, paint, or clay. What will you use to make art today? That is the end of this little artist. I hope you like the book. Here's a few friends we talked about. It's Vincent Van Gogh. This is a Funko Pop of Vincent Van Gogh. And Jean-Michel Basquiat, Funko Pop. He's cute, huh? All right, hope you liked my book and my toys today.